Ya. Are you going to put some oil in now or later? I think so. Yeah, Why not? okay, yeah, go for it. Um, I'm going to put ATF in there. I don't even know how much it'll take. I guess we just pour, we'll it, find in, out. pour it in gently till it starts coming out. There it goes. Plus, if things turn around, they'll pick up yeah. a bit of that oil as well. Mine's a total loss system anyway. <laughs> Has to fit in there, yeah. I think. Yeah. Pulling them all through and keeping them nice and neat. Uh, yeah, yeah, just to keep How them all together and out of the way. And then there's only one other cable, and that's this one. Their alternator cable is this one, which is going to join into here so it's way long there's a lot of empty space just under this cover yeah. here and so i'm just probably just going to coil them up these have to connect into those all right and we'll just double check we've got those two paired together and okay. we can check that in the norton wiring diagram but let's read the instructions i suppose we've got to put this cable onto here well you just keep that sort of somewhat loose for now until we figure out uh, yeah, <laughs> but the time will come when they'll be capable of making big sparks. I might leave that over because I'd like to feed that up through. So that's just going to run across like that, I think. Okay, so one of the issues that we've run into here, which is related to the fact that this is an early model commando with the center mounted oil tank, is that the battery location is different to the later ones, and the battery that would normally be used on a later model commando won't fit in this bike. So with leaving a little space above here, there was actually a size larger that, that I could have used, but Alton have this nice arrangement for mounting of the solenoid and they provide this bracket that fits on top of the battery and then the, the solenoid mounts on top. And I was hoping that by using this shorter battery that I would be able to fit all of this in there. Turns out I got it wrong. And there's, even with this battery, there's not enough space. I've made a, a bracket to mount the solenoid alongside the battery. It's just a very simple little bracket and we'll have to put that in, but it just fits in here and the solenoid will fit alongside the battery. So here's the uh, the solenoid mounted on that little bracket that I made and it fits alongside the battery. The, the side cover goes on here and there's just a big empty space yeah. in, inside the side cover, so there's plenty of room. And then here's the terminal for the starter motor. Let's temporarily put it on here just so that we can run all the wires. I think there's enough room under the cover mm -hmm. for that, mm -hmm. or we could pull the hose in tight yeah underneath and run the cable around the back well the next one i think will be let why don't we look into uh, connecting these alternator wires i guess that's as good as it's going to go so we should be able to just tuck these wires back in here i don't think that'll cause any trouble this is the wire that goes to the what's going to be the start button on the handlebars that goes in here and then this is the uh, the ground wire for the solenoid. So this is the wire that will, from the start button, that will activate the solenoid. And then this is the ground wire for the solenoid. And I'm proposing to put that into, there's a spare ground uh, receptacle up here. So I'm just gonna put it into that and make use of that. And then we will get some um, cable ties and just tidy this up. What are you leaving this loose for now, Jeff? Just I, to, I want to uh, do a test when we, the next, because we're getting close to putting the battery in. Yeah. And once the battery goes in, there'll be potential for smoke and <laughs> flames. And so I will I disconnect see. this okay. and we will just go through a simulated activate the starter and make sure we get power correctly to here without the starter motor connected. Okay. And we'll put a we'll put a light bulb or something on there right. just to simulate the starter motor. And if that all works, then we connect this we we'll connect this cable. These connections we're going to be making here in a moment are, are going to be they're not fused, um, and they're heavy heavy cables. So yes, if we get yes. a short, it'll be a good one. Courtesy of Alton, we've got this nice 
nicely pre-made cable here and that's going to go on top uh, we might actually strap the battery down i think at this point because i've got to be able yeah. to get the straps around so this wire has to go on here yeah we'll be able to make some big sparks now <laughs> we've, got, we've got the nice burly wires this cover doesn't have quite as much space because it has a nice little pocket in it for for, for tool yeah <laughs> for the toolkit yep All right tail light came the on tail lights on yes brake light works yes horn works horn works can you see that yes this should be the test here. Okay. Very good. That proves that we're getting power everywhere. Wow. And I didn't see any smoke. No. <laughs> Did you see the smoke? <laughs> what happened to the smoke? <laughs> Did we screw up again? <laughs> Where's the roof of the barn gone? <laughs> well done, that was a bit disappointing. <laughs> I like, I like disappointing when it comes yeah, to things yeah, like that. Yeah. So now we take this guy and we put it on here. Yeah, this one's going to go on in there. That looks nice. Very nice, that. If we were to turn it on and hit the starter button, it will crank. So okay, you think yeah. we're all clear to do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I plan to do then is I'm going to put the key in, turn it on. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's great. Encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> no smoke again. No smoke. Yeah. So now it's going to be cranking against the compression. So this will be the equivalent of it trying to start the motor. So are we ready? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Seems to be happy, doesn't yeah. it? So this is for real now. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, Normally, if I was kickstarting it, I would turn the choke on, and this is also because we haven't used this. I haven't used this oh, yeah. choke before, or the enricher, I guess. So now we've we've got the enricher up there. We've, we've set the enricher on, and we give it a try. Enricher. Okay. I stalled at the light. <laughs> what am I going to do, Mike? <laughs> I'm riding away. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quick. Oh, man, congratulations, Jeff. That's an awesome <laughs> job. How's that? Yeah, it's a really great job, is that? Well done, man. Yeah, I'd have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, very, very, very happy with it. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, there's a few little things to tidy up. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What a Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, One last step. Complete the whole project. One last step. Cheers. So, finish what we started here, Mike. <laughs> It's refusing to come yeah. off, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that has been on there for a long time. But we've gotten this far. 
りなんてできれば。It's not mango. <laughs> the gearbox will be the next video. Yeah. Repairing the <laughs> gearbox. The gearbox. <laughs> Come on. I think we need a bigger hammer. There, we, there go. we go. Where's that Whitworth hammer when you need it? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs>